Sharon Sharonjit Lail is in Singapore with the details. Now, Sharon, it's had a real tough time for a long time. Will this be enough to turn things around for Qantas? Well, we'll just have to wait and see because essentially what they've done today is announce the fact that they're splitting their international and domestic divisions and that says it's looking to restructure uh, its business in a major way. Now the firm's uh, international operations we know have been hurt by a whole series of issues. These included uh, strikes. Um, of course the split is aimed at trying to cut costs, uh, a streamline efforts as well to make its international operations more profitable. Uh, the division has been making a loss uh, because of high fuel prices, we saw falling demand as well, and it all follows a move yesterday when the airline cut some 500 jobs in its maintenance and engineering division. Now, the split is all part of a five-year plan announced last year, that's according to its chief uh, executive Alan Joyce. Now, because the carrier's international operations have uh, witnessed a downturn in the past few years, Qantas has announced its uh, withdrawal from uh, a whole series of different international routes as well this year. This includes the Singapore to Mumbai route, the Auckland to Los Angeles routes as well. Uh, however, having said all that, its domestic operations though continue to grow and that's because it enjoys a big market share at home in Australia. Uh, according to airline analysts, uh, the two business uh, and international uh, domestic uh, operations have had very separate paths in the last few years. They've seen very contrasting fortunes and they now face a very different set of challenges uh, going forward as well. These airline experts believe that the international operations will need to concentrate on trying to attract new customers, uh, competing with other international carriers as well and ensuring that they fly on the most in-demand and profitable routes uh, to make that division profitable. But on the domestic front, the airline also has to ensure that it maintains its fairly dominant position uh, as well as fight mm -hmm. potential competition from uh, low-cost carriers. Having said all that though, its shares are actually up today. Uh, they were trading just over 1% higher earlier. Thanks very much, Sharon. Lots of changes going on at Qantas. Let's talk about some other business stories today.